My hens live behind my art studio. Their funny personalities and their beautiful feathers work their way into many of my contemplative art pieces. Here are some of the ingredients to begin this soul sketch. Wood shavings from a newly felled tree, chicken feathers, and a color copy of a photo of a quail's nest, which I'll use for an image transfer. And strong tea, which makes a lovely amber-colored pigment. I swirl it in a hurricane pattern on the page. Spreading acrylic uh, matte gel thickly and evenly on the paper, I press the photocopy on, face down, into the gel. After it's quite dry, I re-wet it and rub off the saturated paper pulp, leaving a transparency of the image on the sketch paper. You can see the tea pattern coming through. To connect the nest image to the page, I extend the lines out to the paper surface. Then I paint negative shapes with a mixture of gray, blue, and white acrylic. With Yes Paste, I glue down the feathers and wood shavings, keeping the spiral pattern going. A piece of wax paper and a book weight helps to press down the collage pieces until they're dry. I add a clipping from wrapping paper of Birds in Flight, and using a brush and walnut ink, I paint on the words which come to me as I contemplate the birds, these birds who've been displaced by the felling of the tree in our yard. Their nests must migrate piece by piece, not so different really from the situation many of us face now that our nest eggs have been cracked open by the current economic crisis. My conclusion is, nestle in, but not too tight, as I wonder how I will be building new nests in the months to come. When I finished, I put the sketch with others in a handmade book. The nests we build today must migrate piece by piece. Nest eggs eventually crack open. Nestle in, but not too tight. The image and the words match, and the soul has spoken. Mm -hmm.